Hello right there, this is uh, just a little quick video about these um, cheap super value pack um, barrel pens. A little bumper pack. Um, what is you get eight um, barrel markers. You get four permanent markers with a sort of like broad tip, but fan point, but like a broader tip than the, and then the other four are like real fan and markers. And I'd just like to go through a small little demonstration of the, the drawing ability. Yes. Not serious drawings around, just little daft little doodles. Just for once, just to show you. And first I'm going to start off with the permanent but like broadly fine tip pen. I'm just start by drawing a just a daft little circle. Just to show you. I mean you could like um experiment with different uh, bland widths and you know ways for this one. Um but it's fairly basic really. Permanent markers always have this uh, a strong black ink or whichever colour you've got that you're drawing with. Well, this this marker pen is is more more similar to a, a sharpie marker, although not as good. I don't think, uh, but still pretty good. Quite cheap as well. Got my little pack from Pound Shop for one pound. That's a, just a daft little doodle there, but you know, it just shows you what you can do with the beer or marker pens. I mean, the, the, the different ranges of sizes uh, from what I've, you know, had in these type of markers over the years. And now we'll show you the fine line of marker pen. Barrel, which is obviously a thinner line as you can see on the nib there. Draw some, I'll draw a classic demon in, demon's head or something, demon's skull. Just a quick doodle here. like you can mix and match you know the the different uh, marker pens for different things so you could do a, a lot of cross hatching um, work with the fine liner pens and then maybe like heavy shading work with the broader pens so you know you can just mix and match and do whatever you want really as long as it works for you and what you're drawing so just the daft little doodles Nothing serious. Like I said, I can get the other the broader tip pen to come in, add some shade into it, or or do vice versa different ways, a few extra lines here and there or something. You just just experiment with uh, the different line ways in your drawing. Just add a bit of dash shade into here, and you know, just to see if it works. I mean, little sketches like this, you know, it's it's just about working out what what could work and what doesn't, you know, really. So it's up to you in what you draw, how you draw. Just experiment. And 
we go.